Hello YouTubers, once again this is Marion coming back with a simple tutorial on how to do a 52 week challenge Excel workbook. We want to first, uh, well let's zoom in so we can all see what's going on. We want to first put in our categories, put in the week, the date, the deposit amount, how much we're putting in from week to week, um, the account balance, how much we're accumulating from week to week, and um, let's put in the completed column to say that we've now completed this task. Did we complete this task for this week? We want to adjust our columns to fit the text so that it's readable. Um, here, and then we want to put in the week. One, week two, week three. Um, we don't have to write it all the way to 52. Excel understands sequence. If we highlight one, two, and three, and then at the bottom right hand corner, if we get the black crosshairs and drag, Excel will understand to add one to every cell. We want to now drag to 52 for 52 weeks. And now we have 52 weeks. Um, we also want to put in the date when we started our um, weekly challenge, 52-week challenge. Let's say we started today on uh, May 4th, May 5th, today's May 5th, 2013. And then next week, seven days from now, it will be 5-12, 2013, not 2015. Um, sleeping today, so it's 2013. And once again, if we highlight Excel understands sequence and understands that these are dates, and it will accordingly put the dates in for your 52 week challenge. So we started on May 5th, you end on April 27th, 2014. Now the deposit amount. I know that everyone say for week one you can put in one dollar, week two you put in two dollars, week three you put in three dollars, and so on and so forth. You can put in any amount you like. I, for one hand, I'm putting in five dollars for the first week, five dollars for the second week, and I'm doing and I'm continuing to add five dollars. In this case, let's say we're going to put in two dollars and. The next week we're going to put in $4, and the following week we're going to put in $6, this is 2468. Once again, Excel understands sequence. If you highlight everything and select the bottom right hand corner, it will add those things up for you. Now we scroll it all the way down to week 52, and by week 52 you should have put in $104 as it says. Now the account balance. In the first week, we know the account balance will be $2, obviously. So in the second week, we want to add $2 to the $4 from the second week we add. So we want to put in a function. We say equal sign, and we want to add cell D2 to cell C3. And notice that Excel will highlight what you're adding to it. So we're putting C3 in. It will highlight those two to add it up. Once you have the function written down, all you have to do is copy it into the other cells. And Excel understands that you want that entire function to apply to all 52 weeks. So by week 52, you would have saved $2,700. Now, complete it. Complete it is just, we just want a checkbox. So we're going to insert a symbol. We're going to say symbol. Look for a box, check box. We've entered it. We say enter. We just want to format that check box to be centered, centered, and then copy that all the way down to week 52. Make sure we copy all the way down to week 52. Now, we've had all our things completed. Now we want to um, split it. We want to split the week so that they're side by side because it's too long to read. So at week 27, we highlight all of our boxes, including our completed boxes. 
complete the boxes rather. We highlight all the way down and we're going to say command X that's to cut or control X or for those who are on the PC we're going to select the cell G2 and say command V or control V for those who are on the PC we can adjust our F column we really don't need it, it's just a divider between our first set of half of the week to, I mean half of the year to the second half of the year so we highlight all our uh, categories and we want to put them in our second second thing so here we go command C I copy I selected all of these and said command C and then selected G1 and said command V obviously we want to adjust our um, our uh, columns. So we can highlight F and since this is just a divider we're going to make it a dark gray. We can change the fill color by selecting the theme colors here and saying I just want a gray um, or maybe even darker so we know that it, that is what it is. So once it's done we can now see that it's now where it's supposed to be. We can also highlight our um, categories here and change that to let's say a blue. You know, blue is cool. So we want to do the same thing to the other side. Once you have to select the color, all you have to do is click it now and it will say accept the same color. We also want to um, put borders on our table. This is our table, Excel sheet table. And we want to highlight that and put borders on. So we say all borders and we'll put the borders in. Um, we want to signify that we're halfway through. So in October, the 26th week, we have saved $702 by that time. And we want to make sure we highlighted that as a goal that we've completed. Um, completion, let's put it as green, green for money. And we select that and choose a green. That's how green. We might want to also put in markers for where we accumulated $100 or $200. So let's say at $100 we've saved $100 so far, we might put that as a significant change or like you know motivationers so let's say we put that as oh, let's change it to uh, more suitable color let's put it as purple so I have hundred dollars and then here I made two hundred dollars yay I'm saving two hundred I've saved two hundred dollars in week fourteen so far and I'm excited about it and we highlight um, and we fill the color in with that and so on and so forth so let's say now at two hundred We've now decided we want to do it at 500 increments. So now in week 22, we've saved $506. In week 32, we saved $1,000. In week 39, we saved $1,500. In week 45, we've saved $2,000. Wow, look at that. And then in week Fifty, we saved twenty five hundred dollars right before we've completed our our weekly fifty two week challenge rather. So we have that done, and we also want to put in the amount. Um, say that the deposit amount we want to format so that it's money. So we select here. You choose your thing. It's already on English, and you can put the decimal on. Or you can increase it or decrease it. Okay, we want to put the same thing here for this amount because this is money. We want to put in, in this amount and this is money. This is money. Same here. Now we have that done. Um, now you have a completed Excel sheet for your 52 week challenge. Thank you, YouTubers.